All right, guys, welcome back. Another video, and as promised, the top 10 Adidas pickups this year. It was kind of hard to come up with this list because I picked up so many Adidas, but I did my best. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I already did the top five Jordan pickups. I didn't pick up that many Jordans this year, so check that video out if you haven't yet. Let's get right to the top 10 Adidas. All right, guys, number 10. Had to go with these. I know these are kind of low on the list, but I picked up so many freaking Adidas. So I had to just, I had to just choose. I had to just choose. This could have easily, you know, ranked up higher, but I decided to put these number 10, the Trico NMDs. Um, and this knitting on here looks dope, this glitch camo. And it's the first time I actually was able to get an NMD prime knit like for retail, which was just unheard of, you know, especially because of the prior models. I like that red, white, and blue look right there. Stripes, outside and inside. And um, man, they're just clean. Check out the back right here. NMD Prime Knit, the Trico colorway. Number nine, it's gonna be another NMDs. I ranked the NMDs low because I felt like they're not as comfortable as the Ultra Boost. I put more Ultra Boost higher at the list because of that. Um, Number nine, we have the NMD Packer collab, and to me, these are just really clean. Uh, just gives it like an old school vibe to it. And um, it's one of the NMDs that I was able to get for pretty much, pretty much close to retail. Um, yeah, these are clean, man. Packer shoes, NMD collab. Number nine, number eight, another NMD. Got these for retail as well. The, I think people are calling them the pink, onyx, salmons, salmons, uh, sun glows. To me, it's like a salmon peach colorway, which is really nice. It's actually a women's colorway, and it's a size, I was able to get my size, size 11, which equates to a size 10 in men, so they fit me fine. I believe a size 11 is the biggest you can get in these, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think 11 is the biggest, so I don't know, man. These are clean, though. Uh, salmon NMDs. It's a women's colorway. All right, guys. Number seven. We're moving to the Ultra Boost, the Asia exclusive. And to my knowledge, this is the only glow in the dark Ultra Boost. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I believe. And I like how the gray and the Volt kind of complement each other. It's a very clean look, and it is an ATR model, so the part of the toe, you know, wrapping around the toe, it has like that weatherized rubber feel to it very dope ATR uh, Ultra Boost Asia exclusives moving on to number six Ultra Boost gold medals uh, took me a while to get these just the two things on the shoe that just really I think is dope is the gold uh, heel cup in the back but also of course the leather hits such as the cage and the tongue I think that's a really dope touch and that's the only you know um, and this is the only ultra boost I have with the leather on it so I think that's nice and then the prime of course you got that gray that moves to a blue and then a black it's just a clean touch throughout the whole shoe so number six gold medal ultra boost all right number five Decide to do like a four-way tie here. It's pretty much gonna be the holiday V2s. It was the year of the V2s. A ton of V2s came out. White ones. People calling them the Oreos, whatever. I thought this was gonna be a lot more white. Like looking at it now, like it's almost like a gray, to be honest. Like on a lot of pictures I've seen, it looks dead white to me, but regardless, still clean picked up all the v2s and pretty much the hype for these is pretty much going down like and to me that's a good thing because if people want them you know there's actually not much resale value to them and you can actually still buy them for a reasonable price if you're into that like for me i struck out on every freaking v2 that came out so you know it is what it is but there's the coppers <clears throat> Got the red ones right here. The red ones, which I guess are the more limited out of all the blacks. 
um, but yeah, really, really digging the silhouette and then also the outsole. I like the outsole, I like that translucent look to it, that smoky, um, translucent look. And of course, you had the green ones, which I think they're becoming my favorites. Like, out of the red and the green, I like both of those the most out of all the, the black ones. So, the green ones, olives, these are super clean. And then for number four, I went ahead and added the belugas to it. Why not? It's probably my favorite V2 so far. There's actually design on it as opposed to the black ones. Like you can actually see the waves throughout the shoe, which I think are just, man, it's just a really clean look. And then of course that solar red stripe that goes, definitely stands out. So belugas are number four. Uh, definitely a big year for the Yeezys. A lot of Yeezys came out. Number three guys, it's gonna be an ultra boost. Had to get these, the triple blacks all blacked out ultra boost i remember there were so many rumors and release date changes for this shoe and then they finally just dropped these are just so clean check it out blacked out boost blacked out everything i mean i don't know to me these are just so sick all right guys number two i actually did a two-way tie with number two and they're both collabs uh first one the reigning champ ultra boost so clean. It's the only Ultra Boost I own that is a, you know, collab. Um, struck out on pretty much all the past Ultra Boost collabs. So nice to have these. This little nice terry cloth of material. It's just, it's super nice. And it looks dope too. Got the stitching in the back. So Rainy Champs is number two, but also another collab is the Pusha T's. Been wearing these a ton lately. Big fan of this shoe. It's pretty much an EQT on the top, Ultra Boost on the bottom. Everything with Boost is better, man. Like, so glad I got these last year. You know, the EQT models, I thought they were clean, but it did not have the Boost on it. So this year they decided to add the Ultra Boost. Been wearing these a lot lately, and I like the collar on here. They decided to put Prime Knit on it, and it just looks clean. You got the fish scale look to it. I believe they call these the gray scales and then you got the little needles inside which sick touch to it primed it all over the upper and you can see it's there's some marks on there i need to clean this shoe i've been wearing this a lot so number two all right guys finally number one sleeper shoe did a video on these got these for just crazy super cheap the ultra boost solar reds uh it's just a nice looking shoe i like the different shades of reds throughout the prime knit and then what makes them really nice is when i change the laces like originally they came with some solar red laces that were like you know the color of the outsole but when i put the black in there oh man so nice and i got these for super cheap too it's definitely a sleeper shoe uh, if you look around hard enough you could definitely find this shoe for retail but man it's just such a nice ultra boost definitely killed it with this colorway um, man so yeah number one right there comments down below uh, if you had any top Adidas pickups this year definitely let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys on the next one peace